Mindset Over Bullshit is a self-help podcast published by Kendrick Avant and designed to help people see their value through the power of gratitude journaling. Two, four, six, eight. Let's drink and smoke and celebrate. Y'all are going to love the celebration today. Uh You could talk about talk money day. Maybe that's the day you bring it up to save money with the wife, with the kids, something like that. You might even jump on cook something bold and pungent day, which means today is your day that you can cook chitlins out the blue. Get the whole house stanking with good food. Me, it is National Cappuccino Day. So y'all know I will be grabbing some Baileys, maybe some Grand Marnier, get that vodka, might have a little tequila. I am going to make myself an espresso martini. Yeah, it's a hump day, espresso martinis, because it is National Cappuccino Day. Whoa, look. That ain't no bird. Damn sure can't be a plane. It's the little homie in a wheelchair sharing secrets main. Okay, the MS tip for this weekend. You are now looking at my two favorite booty cushions in the world. I normally Whoa. stack them up. Nobody but what I have discovered shit. is that stacking them up, using the booty cushions, yes, that does help with the pressure sores that are on your ass, but it also makes you sit a little bit higher in your wheelchair. And I'm telling you, that's the reason why I'm having so many more spasms. It's because of the angle that I'm stacking up these these booty cushions. Forget the booty cushions. I am going with less spasms. The MS Diary is a daily vlog about my personal shit. MS Diary for Wednesday, November 8th. And I went for two great days in a row yesterday on Wednesday. So today, Wednesday, I'm going for three. Now, the big difference is, yesterday, I tried to get slick. I'm always telling y'all how I do not take any of the MS medications. Nope. I don't take the Valium. I don't take the Oxycontins. I don't take nope. the the Tizanidines. I don't take the, the Baclofen. I don't take nope. any of this shit. But I went to my, see my PCP for the first time in about seven, eight months last week. And she told me that my stomach was all inflamed. It wasn't bloated. It was actually inflamed and swollen. She felt that was because I've been taking too much, uh, too much Tylenol and ibuprofen. She said, you got to quit that. I know you don't want to take the medications, but the ibuprofen and the Tylenol, you're taking so much over the counter. I think it's damaging your stomach. So why don't you just try Lyrica for a few days? So on Tuesday, the day I'm trying to have that second good day in a row, I tried out the Lyrica. And man, the reason why I stay away from medication is because they make me so sleepy. I must have dropped my phone six or seven times, fell asleep two or three times, fell out the wheelchair once. No Lyrica today. I'm keeping it simple, staying away from that shit. King's news is the news story so interesting that I stopped scrolling through my phone. I actually read the article. The King's news story comes out of England. What you are looking at is a solid 18 karat gold toilet Uh in the home of the late great prime minister Winston Churchill. He's the guy that was leading them in World War II. The golden toilet was actually stolen. Yeah, somebody broke into the home, which is now like a museum, and stole a solid gold toilet, disconnected the hoses, the pipes, everything. And they ended up finding the people who stole the golden toilet. They arrested seven people at first. None of them ever actually had something to do with it. Damn. So they ended up finding the four men, and those four men have now been charged for stealing the golden toilet. Why is this so crazy? The golden toilet has a name. It is actually named America. Are you kidding me? A golden toilet named America, solid gold, was stolen. And it was called America for obvious reasons. And now, without further ado, three of my own gratitude stories. 
What I wrote about to keep my mindset over bullshit. Swanging and banging on the ones and the twos. I'm on fire tonight yep. with these goddamn awesome, yes. gratitudes. Kendrick Avant, your professor of gratitude, because what I'm doing every single night, every single day, is teaching you, showing you the difference between being grateful and showing gratitude. The difference is, when you be grateful, you're just listing off what you're grateful for. You're grateful that you have a house. You're grateful that you're married. You are grateful that the kids are healthy. And when you show gratitude, that's when you actually write down the story of why you are grateful or you tell the story of why you're grateful to somebody. And the reason why those two things are different is because when you're showing gratitude, when you're sharing that story, you're going to spend more time on why you're grateful. And if you're spending more time on why you are grateful, you're spending less time with the negative thoughts. You're not tripping on the kids not doing the chores. You're not tripping on whose turn it is to cook tonight. You're not clowning because you feel like the spouse or your significant other is not paying you any attention. All that shit goes out the window as long as you're writing out or discussing or telling the story of why you're grateful. You do this more often, you are a more positive person. If you are a more positive person, that means you're thinking better. It makes you a better son, a better daughter, a better parent, a better spouse, a better employee, a better leader. And it all starts with just the simple act of writing out that story of why you're grateful. And I'm still looking for a perfect What's this? Oh my God, there's a bird in my car. Oh, it's a bird. It's beautiful. So what I'm gonna do right now is I have this gratitude journal. I've written like nine gratitude journals. The most recent one is the gratitude journal for wheelchair users because I myself am a wheelchair user. I'm bound to this wheelchair. I have primary progressive multiple sclerosis, a chronic illness. There is no cure for it. I'm at the latter stages, so that means there's nothing that will improve my condition. I already can't walk. I already cannot control my bowels. I can't control my bladder. I'm legally blind. It's just all type of bullshit that's going on. I keep nerve pain cracking and popping in my arms and in my legs. It just, it's a shitty ass, hard ass life. But I don't get stuck on what I can't do. Instead, I stay grateful for what I can do, and I write out these stories of why I'm grateful. That's what saved my marriage. That's the reason why my kids pay a little bit more attention to me. That's the reason why I am usually in a good mood, and I'm holding this thing down. That's it, because I write down these gratitude stories that makes me show gratitude. So tonight, I'm going to give you all these three gratitude stories. This will go on the Wednesday release of Mindset Over Bullshit. Mindset Over Bullshit is my podcast, and I drop it every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. You got it, Doc. You got to stay grateful. You got to stay grateful and show that gratitude. I drop this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it comes out around 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. I would sure appreciate it. I mean, I would love it. If you slid over to YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio, you can go to the Amazon, you can go to Audible, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. I'm everywhere. And the name of my podcast is Mindset Over Bullshit. It's a visual podcast. You're going to see my face. You're going to see my antics. But you can just listen to the podcast too without all of these special effects and pictures and everything else I throw up. And I'm doing this live tonight. Because I want to increase my visibility. I'm trying to get my podcast further out there. Yes, I'm talking to my tribes, people who are wheelchair bound. My tribes, people who have some type of chronic illness, multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia. Maybe you are dealing with some type of cystic fibrosis. You could be dealing with cerebral palsy. Whatever it is, 
get that gratitude journal. And if you cannot write, because a lot of times I can't write either. I can't feel my hands. I can't feel my fingers. I can't do, a, sometimes I can't do shit with the left hand. Get the gratitude journal. I calm myself down and I just write about what's going good, why it's going good. That takes my mind away from all the bullshit. And that's how I keep myself going. Run. So every Wednesday, I'm going to come to y'all. I'm going to do this live. Feel free to jump on here and share your gratitude stories that can or cannot go on the podcast. I'm going to leave it up to you. If you get on here and you share your gratitude story, you can just tell me, yo, Kendrick, do not put mine in the podcast. This is some personal shit just between us and Instagram. I'm cool with that. I'm going to be playing with that. But my three stories, sometimes I do four, five, and of course I do more the worst day it is. But today I'm on fire because I'm starting this thing off tonight. And I want the rest of y'all to have the opportunity to see how this energy works. Two, gratitude story number one. Me. <laughs> gratitude story number one. I cleaned out my cannabis pipe so the smoke is better. I hate whenever the smoke is real faint. It has those lightly plumes that come in the air. The big plumes look and feel like major smoking is going on. The big, the big plumes look like a chimney on a cold winter night. That makes me feel higher. <laughs> and if I am higher, that means you're going to feel better. Now, I don't have any scientific proof, just my honest experiences. And the higher you are, the higher I am the less tripping over and stressing over everything going wrong I'ma do. The higher I am, the better I feel. And I put the mindset over bullshit and I quit tripping on all the shit out of my control. So that was gratitude story number one. I cleaned out that cannabis pipe. Small thing, but it makes a big difference. <laughs> Gratitude story number two. So gratitude story number two, I washed my hair. I know y'all can't tell because everything is on fire right nope, now. Nope, I sure but can't. I washed my hair. And I had to use the Dove body soap to wash my hair because I couldn't find the real <laughs> shampoo. That's so cool. That's all cool. I'm still a gangster. And if I wash my hair, I now have less flakes falling out the hair. I don't look so dandruffy. I actually put that in my gratitude journal. Check my shit out. Dandruffy. Yep, I wrote that out. Made that word up my damn self. So I don't look so dandruffy. And my daughters and my wife cannot make fun of me near as much. That just You just don't feel clean with a bunch of dandruff all over your shirts and everything. With dandruff falling out your hair. You just don't feel clean. And if you don't feel clean, then you're not going to feel as good. You're not going to feel as pretty as you could be. So now that I've washed my hair, I'm going to feel better. I'm going to have higher energy and I will be good better this evening. That is gratitude story number two, washing my hair. I love my wheelchair user. That's one of my premium shirts that I've designed using the gearbubble.com application on my computer i got one for each of the kids and i have one for the wife love these shirts the premium material means it's going to last at least two years the shirts that i have i'm on year number two and gratitude story number three last one i'm gonna share with y'all tonight ain't nobody else joining us doc it's just you and i so my last gratitude story tonight is that there were enough ice cubes in the freezer for me to put ice in my own damn drink. Spoken like a king a with kids. A cold bottle of lemon water. Normally I like my shit room temperature. I don't like the cold water because it'll get on your teeth. A cold bottle of lemon water makes a big difference. Well, it made a big enough difference in the monotony of my day. It jolted me awake. 
that helped me fight off the sleep that was caused by taking that Lyrica. Told y'all earlier in the MS Diary, I took the Lyrica Tuesday. Drinking that cold ass water, when that cold ass water hits the teeth, ooh, that's gonna wake your ass up. It damn sure woke me up. So the cold water hit the teeth and I was awake. That means I fall out the wheelchair less. I'm struggling less. Instead, I'm awake and I'm getting my shit done. The dad. <laughs> shit done. Big Nick, congratulations, fatherhood, to your dog. Man, I'm proud of you, bro. You have no idea. My wife was just asking about you. Today's Wednesday. She was asking about you on Sunday. Like, have you talked to Nick? What's going on with Nick? with Nick and his baby. Have you seen the baby? Like I've shown you the pictures. I've seen the pictures. Of course my cousin showed me pictures. Grateful for that. That made your boy feel special, King. I meant to tell you that. Sending me the pictures your damn self made me feel like a G. It made me feel like we were out. It made me feel, made me feel good, dog. Like somebody was looking out for me. Cause my daddy ain't sharing pictures like that. You already know. You already know Uncle Freddie is not sharing pictures like that. So I appreciate those pictures. It filled up my bucket, made me feel like I was important. Made me feel like I'm special in y'all's life because I got the pictures directly from you. That's the fourth gratitude story, good people. That means I've shared with y'all four tonight. I'm gonna be back on Wednesday with this live episode of Gratitudes. Nick, I'm gonna be here every Wednesday. I'm gonna try to get here around seven o'clock, 7.30 my, my time. I don't know if you are Central or Eastern because you're over there in Arkansas. But yo, cuzzo, I plan on doing this every Wednesday. You are welcome to join me, talk about the music, because that song you sent me, the Mindset Over Bullshit song, oh shit, that makes a huge difference in me doing the podcast. That makes a huge difference having my own song for this podcast. A thousand thanks for that, cuzzo. Big thank you for that. For the rest of y'all, a thousand thank yous for rocking with me. I want y'all to review Mindset Over Bullshit University with Kendrick Kavan. Give me five stars. Like me, love me, share the podcast. Let your boy get out there and help the rest of the world. Y'all enjoy yourselves. The podcast will come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 o'clock. And I am out tonight.